how's it going? It's Jamie, the crafty DIY guy. I am back and I have got a double haul video for you today. I went to Dollar Tree and I also went to a thrift store called Value Village. And uh, I didn't buy a lot at either store. So um, that's kind of why I'm combining the videos. This particular shopping center that I went to had a Dollar Tree like here. And then the Value Village was like here. So it made it super, super easy to be able to go and and do both. Um, so uh, before I do that, though, I do want to say thank you, of course, to my long-term subscribers and friends. I appreciate you guys so, so much. Thank you for being here. If you are not a subscriber of the channel, please consider being a subscriber. It helps out with YouTube, I think. And then uh, also, of course, if you're brand new to the channel because maybe YouTube referred the video and you wanted to check it out, hey, uh, hopefully you'll consider becoming a subscriber as well and you'll hang out and we'll have some fun. I do some crafts. I do thrift flips. I do some mini home renovations. I do some clothing hauls sometimes. Of course, I'm not really going anywhere now, but uh, you know, I try to have a good time and try to mix it up. All right, let's jump into it. Um, we'll do the thrift store first since that's only like five items. Um, first thing I grabbed was this jewelry kind of tree thing. And uh, I loved the rose gold on it, first of all. That's what I thought was really, really incredible. And then um, I loved the marble base. The green is not really totally my thing. And you can see here, it's missing one of these guys. And um, at first I thought, well, I could just make one of those with a you know bamboo skewer and some wood beads and spray paint it and be done. And then I thought, no, you bonehead, that's not going to work because it's not going to be strong enough to hold your stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is actually like spackle over this and then I'm going to sand this down because it's not real. It's not real marble. And then I'm going to paint it. I'm going to use my acrylic pour paint from Arteza and uh, kind of do this similar effect with the acrylic pour and maybe do something in like a navy and blue and gray and then use it on my dresser or my bedroom. I even thought about recovering this and uh, spray painting these black. I thought about making these black and then recovering them in the wood grain contact paper. I may do that too, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Um, the next thing I grabbed was this really cool vase. Um, I loved the shape of it, loved the neck that was up here and thought again that this would be really cool. I'll give you a sneak peek at the Dollar Tree stuff because I bought these at Dollar Tree. I thought, wow, that would be almost perfect for that kind of a vase. So um, I'm gonna lean back here in the chair so you can kind of see how that might work. I'd probably shorten the stems just a little bit, but uh, the wisteria branches could be really, really beautiful in there. So um, I don't know, we'll see. I could only grab a few of those, but um, I even thought maybe spray painting it white with like a milk glass kind of effect. Um, just because of that neck, but uh, I think I'm gonna keep it this color, at least for right now. And you'll see why, because I have a Dollar Tree something that's a nice compliment to that, we'll say. Uh, the other thing I grabbed was this clock. Oh, by the way, the, um, the vase was $2, the jewelry thing was $2 as well, maybe it was $3. And then uh, I grabbed this clock. I grabbed it, first of all, because it's still working. And uh, it's a Coca-Cola clock. It it might be collectible. I, I don't really know. I don't I don't really collect any of the Coca-Cola stuff. Um, but you can easily remove the clock from the frame. And I thought that I would honestly recover where the Coca-Cola bears are there, and um, turn this into a really cool DIY clock um, because it works, which is great. And uh, it even came with the battery in the back. But uh, it was $3.03. And, and um, you know, if this is a collectible and you guys know that it's a collectible, send me a message and say, you know, don't sell it, don't do it, don't DIY. It's a $10,000 clock or whatever it is, because then I'll sell it. Um, <laughs> I'll go back to the thrift store. Um, the other thing I grabbed at first was this uh, box. I saw this box and I really liked it, really loved the shape and everything. And then uh, I loved, of course, the drawers. I thought immediately that I could turn this into a glue gun station. I could take some maybe wood Jenga blocks and build like uh, dividers in here and uh, put like glue gun and like the wood glue gun and the regular glue gun and the large glue gun and the mini glue gun or even the heat gun. Um, and then I have the drawers to be able to put glue in. So um, I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing with it. It came with this as well. 
And uh, this was separated from it when I first picked it up and I didn't really, I don't really care for this on top of it. And um, thought, you know, yeah. But then I realized that this was for picture frames. You can kind of see the hooks there in the back or it's a, it's a picture frame lid, I guess. So I think what I'm gonna do is use that as a picture frame, but use it for something that would hang on the wall. And then this will go on the desk kind of as my glue gun station. And uh, it's kind of like a cardboardy wood, so it can be painted. The drawers are finished on that side, so you could easy, easily flip these around. These just screw off, so you could probably, I assume they screw off anyway. Um, yeah, it looks like they do. There's screws on the other side there. And um, I could spray paint the hardware. I could even change out the hardware if I want to. So again, thought it was pretty cool. Thought it was definitely pretty neat. Um, the other thing I grabbed, where is it? Oh, duh right here <laughs> uh check this out this giant toolbox i love this um my mom makes or used to make some of these my dad would make them for her and she would do floral arrangements in them and um i wanted one for my tools but i wanted one that was pretty heavy duty and uh that sucker is it the only thing that's wrong with it is there is a nail that is sticking out of the bottom here that i need to address and uh, I'll probably just bang it back through. And uh, I think it's this one, this nail here, that's the problem. But um, I'll bang it back through and then readjust. And um, other than that, I think it's pretty cool. It'll, it'll either sit up on the desk or it will go under the desk when I'm not using it. And it's easy grab and go. I'm gonna be careful so I don't scratch my tabletop there or my countertop rather. Um, so that is the Value Village stuff. Let's jump into the Dollar Tree stuff because I don't want this video to run too, too long. But, uh, you know, I like to ramble. So um, the Wisteria branches, you saw those already. And uh, I grabbed pink. They were the only color that they had. I would have much rather had the white ones. Um, I'm going to be on the lookout for these for sure. I didn't even think about that vase because I went to Value Village after Dollar Tree. But um, I was thinking originally a wreath that um, I could trim these down and uh, put them into a grapevine wreath or something and that would be really pretty just kind of trailing around. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna figure out something to do with them. And then the other Easter floral that I grabbed were these and um, I thought that these were really sweet. They're kind of like these grasses with these Easter eggs on them and they have the pink, they had the blue, they had the yellow and um, I, I think I grabbed every color that they had. I would almost expect there to be probably a purple or something, but um, I could be wrong. Again, I was thinking a wreath that that would be really pretty for. Um, I have a couple neighbors that I'm gonna make some wreaths and stuff for for Easter time, so I will have um, I'll have plenty of wreaths. Um, I love Dollar Tree's hand towels and bar towels and rags, and they had these. They were in the hand towel section where the um, like where the shower curtains and random stuff like that are. And uh, I would not put these out for my hand towels because they're like really aggressive looking. And they, to me, they just look like rags. So um, I'm gonna use these in my craft room. And I use this kind of stuff when I'm putting on antiquing wax a lot of times. And uh, I just throw them in the washer and they, they turn out good. And they actually hold up pretty well considering you know what I do with them. Um, I'm gonna be making a gnome uh, kind of door hanger and I bought this to try and make into the gnome's hat. It's a dog um, bib, like a bandana, but a um, pet bandana. But uh, again, I think I'm gonna reuse that for something else. Let me see here, I've got my box on the floor. Um, the other thing I grabbed were some cork board sheets. I love these cork board sheets. These are from Dollar Tree in the Crafter Square section. They have the adhesive back on them. And uh, you're probably gonna see a Valentine's video that will come out by the time this video comes out. And uh, I originally wanted to use this instead of the chalkboard, but um, the chalkboard turned out good too. So it wasn't a, wasn't a loss. Um, the other thing I grabbed were these art palettes. My sister turned me on to these and uh, I had been out of them for a little while. These are great to use. I'm gonna put them on my paint cart and uh, use these and there's six of them in this package and they're, they're thin, but they do what they're supposed to do and it's a great way to um, not gunk up your, your, your paint jars. Um, 
I told you about the lady socks, the knee high socks. And if you're a guy and you see a print that you like that is in the ladies knee high socks, get it because these are made out of the same exact material that the men's socks are made out of. And uh, I have a pair of men's socks right here. So you'll see the difference. And uh, literally these go up to just below my calf and the ladies knee high socks will also go just below my calf because I have a big foot, I have a size 12. So you can kind of see, that's the other pair of socks that I grabbed up here. So I thought the sunglasses were really, really cute. And then for Valentine's Day, they had some striped ones that say love around the top that I thought would be cute to wear, although I'm not really going anywhere. Um, they had these garden charms, they called them, and they were like, uh, like this little butterfly. And then they had this one that says spring, and on the back, you can see at the top there, there's a little loop and uh, there's some like twine or string or something. And uh, I, I assume these are used for like uh, tying them around your potted plants or maybe even hanging them from a tree. Maybe if you had like a bougainvillea bush or something, I think that could be really cool. Um, so I did that. Um, I don't know where he is. Oh, hey, stop doing that. You're eating something you shouldn't be. A bonehead. That was Otis, but um, now that he's out of the room, I got him this for Valentine's Day. He actually loves these little toys, so that is something that will get him. Um, I grabbed some Dollar Tree rocks because uh, the, I don't know, rock season is coming up, and uh, I didn't have any at home, and they had them in the store. Um, I grabbed some twine. All of a sudden, twine is back in in the Crafter Square section, and I'm afraid they're going to have another twine pandemic and uh, I won't be able to find it. So I grabbed another batch. And then uh, this is the vase that I told you that I grabbed that's kind of a companion to that one. It's got a similar structure to it. And it's got these, uh, I don't know what that is, just the way that the glass is kind of cut in there. Um, you can see the kind of that bubble or that ripple in there. I thought that again, that this was really cool and it's gonna complement that vase really, really nicely. And it's just, it's, it's actually the same size as the other vase. So that was kind of cool. Grab some floral foam because I'm actually working on a DIY project that's kind of a Kirkland's dupe that's gonna include one of these little vases. Um, I didn't know if I had any of those vases or not. And then when I came home and looked, I had them. Uh, and I grabbed a bunch of succulents. So we grabbed these two. Um, I also grabbed that one, kind of a little hairy looking guy. I grabbed um, that one, and then I also grabbed, oops, that one's got a sticker on it. I grabbed this one, and that one's already coming out of the box. But that's okay, because they're all going into this DIY. Um, and then this is really random. This is um, kind of too late for Valentine's Day, I think, but um, I loved this. I had never seen this before, and uh, loved the arrow. It's actually metal, so you can peel it off of there pretty easily. How cool would that look on another project? But then just the grain, almost like a wood grain kind of a look. It's smooth though. It's not, it's not um, textured at all. And then it's actually really thick too. It's a lot thicker than some of the Dollar Tree signs. And um, I just loved it. I loved it, get it? And uh, wanted to grab it because I knew I could do something with it. And then the last couple things I grabbed, um, this is really random, but, um, uh oh, don't fall, is um, the Turkey Hill Lemonade. I freaking love this lemonade. It is like crack to me. And uh, I don't buy it every time I go, but uh, if you get the Turkey Hill Lemonades or anything, they're really, really good. And they're really good with vodka in them. And uh, then I grabbed this Raspberry Preserve because again, I really do love this one. And uh, I usually put this on like French toast or something. And uh, I put it in oatmeal as well. So, anywho, that is my haul. I am going to drink my lemonade now. And uh, I'm going to work on some other DIY projects and some other videos for you. So, have a good day. And thank you for tuning in. And I look forward to seeing you guys again soon. All right. Bye.